welcome to ADN Tech. In this video, we are going to see how we can generate the custom characters and display it in our LCD module. In the previous video, I have explained a code how the LCD display is interfaced with the Arduino Uno and how we can display the characters in the LCD module. In that code, you can see I have first written a value of DDRAM address and then I have used a function called write LCD. In the write LCD function you can see I have sent the value that is written here through the output word T. So that means the data pins the values are sent to the data pins and then I have made an RS high and enable pin high and low. So this is for writing a data to the LCD display. So what does it actually does is nothing but we are going to make a DDRAM enable so first we are going to set the DDRAM address with the help of this command so I have already shown here how to set the DDRAM address so I have set it in a first position and I am going to write a value to that DDRAM's address so I have called it 0xc0 what is this 0xc0 is nothing but I have converted so I have used this symbol you can use any symbol and you can call that uh, symbol with the help of x values so I am making to convert this symbols binary to the hexadecimal format so it has two four bits the upper four bit is double one double zero and the lower four bit is four zeros so if you convert this values into the hexadecimal you can see it is 0x c0 so that's the value for this symbol so if you want to display this symbol you should call the hexadecimal value of this symbol so this symbol is stored inside cg rom so if you want to display the characters in the LCD display you should copy the values for that symbol that are stored in the CG ROM to the DDRAM so DDRAM is used for the characters to display in the LCD module the CG ROM typically has stored the 5 cross 8 LED matrix values fonts that are stored that is copied to the DDRAM while we are displaying so here you can see when I call the function with the value of 0xc0 the value gets printed here at the first position because I have set the DDRAM address as 0x80 so how we can store the custom characters and how we can retrieve these characters to the DDRAM and can display that value so Typically you should store the fonts value in the CG RAM. Instead of calling from CG ROM, you can call this value from CG RAM and store the D values in the DD RAM and you can display the custom characters here. So first you should generate or find the values of your custom characters that should be stored. And then you can call the values address and you can store it in a DD RAM. So before we are going to generate our characters values. So for that I have used this website. You can also manually calculate the values for your fonts. So it is easy to generate here. You can generate any characters. So you should first consider a 5 cross 8 LED matrix. So starting from here to here. So only a 5 bits are allowed and uh, the eighth row is for cursor so don't use this eight if you are using a cursor if you are not using a cursor you can also use this eighth row so typically don't use eight so i'm going to make a symbol like piece so if you are seeing the symbol piece you can also generate any symbol for your convenient so i am going to make this symbol gets printed in my LCD module so here you can see this value is converted into binary so
so by blinking or glowing these three LEDs I have made this as a triple one and this as zero and this first row is converted into my binary value and this binary value is converted into x values you can manually calculate the hexadecimal equivalent of this first row is E0 and the second row is 1 5 and you can calculate manually or, or you can also use this website it is a time saving purpose so I have made the values of hexadecimal values of my character and you can copy this character and you can paste here so I have already made a function to store my values character generator values into my CGRAM address so before that we should know where the CGRAM address starts so you should check where the CGRAM address starts with the help of this table column here you can see the CGRAM starts from so DB7 to DB0 and the DB6 is 1 and the all other bits are depending upon your address so if you want to store it in a first row you should make it as all 0 in the second row you should make it as 1 here and the third row you should make it as 1 here so depending upon the position you should change these address values so typically the address starts from 0x40 by converting the value that shown in the table column is like this so by making all the values are 0 possibly this is the starting address of CG RAM so the CG RAM starts from 0x40 and up to 8 bits 8 rows it will move up to 0x47 so we should store the values from 0x40 to 47 for one character so starting from that we can store these values so for the first row the three LEDs are grown so I have converted into 5 cross 8 but in the website they have shown you 8 cross 8 so both are same because uh, all other behind 5 are 0 so typically it is not considered so you can make it as a 5 cross 8 and you should store the values like this so for 0x40 the value should be the first hexadecimal value that I have seen in our so in the 0x40 it must be 0x08 and the next row it should be 0x15 like that if you should store up to 8 rows so in the code I have made a function first I have made a line which is used to store the CGRAM or start the CGRAM address CGRAM position so this value tells us where we are going to store the characters so we are going to typically start from 0x40 for the first character to be stored so I am calling 0x40 and sending it here and we are going to enable the pulse so here you can see while setting a CGRAM address the RS should be low and RW should be low so I have only used the enable pulse so because for every time if you use command you should enable for command if you should enable the purpose so here you are going to set the CGRAM position so for setting 0x40 is set up starting address 0x40 enabled and then we are going to store the values one by one so first 0x0e is written to the address which is 0x40 and then it will automatically increment so you should you don't worry whether it increment or decrement it will automatically increment the address one by one so after this i increased the address will be 0x41 so it will automatically increment so 
but will automatically increment one by one you can store the eight rows values into your cg ram then why i have written this is so it will be your return home function which i have seen in the tabular column let me show you that here you can see for return home it is 0x at 20 so the hexadecimal equivalent of this 8 bit is 0x20 why i have used return is the address pointer the address counter which stores the values of the current address will point to the cg ram so you should return it to the dd ram to display the character that is stored in the cg ram as i told the values should be the address counter should be here in the dd ram's position to display it in our lcd module the lcd module has a direct connection with the dd ram not with the cg ram so whatever the values that is displayed in the lcd module is what are the values that is stored in dd ram only when we are calling the values that are stored in the cg ram are copied to the dd ram so we should return the address counter to the dd ram whenever we have finished returning our values in the cg ram so i already mentioned i have finished writing the characters into cg ram then i am returning my address counter to our dd ram so this is the function that is used to generate our character so i have made a two custom character array you can store it one by one and you can generate our custom character and display it here so first i am going to display the character so in you can write a lcd with the help of zero so what is this zero means zero x zero zero let me make it clear here so this is the lower bit this is the upper bit so how we calculated the values for the standard characters so the cg ram is stored here from 0x002 up to this eight values so if you call this upper bit and lower bit you can copy the cg rams values to the dd ram instead of cg roms so these are occupied preoccupied by the cg rom characters they have given our space cg ram for here so here you can see the first value of the cg rams font is stored in 0x00 so instead of calling 0x00 you can easily call 0 so 0 means the first cg ram character So the first CG RAM character is stored in the position of 0x00. So if you call this value, then you can see the what are the value that is stored in our first CG ROM will be displayed here. Here you can see we generated the value like a piece symbol that is displayed here. And the already the standard characters that is available in the CG ROM is displayed because we have called 0xc0 so the 0xc0 is this symbol this symbol will be displayed and we have called 0x00 which is the cg rams first character and that is displayed here before that i have made a position so this is third position so i have called a dd a set a dd ram address to the third position by sending that value of 0x83 this is the initial position always whenever you have written a character always return your ddram address to the initial position so make it clear whenever you have shifted or you have moved your address counter or any function you should always send back your ddram address to the initial position whenever you are writing the next character one by one so we have set a a so this is not a this is a symbol that we have stored here 
so we are going to write a lcd of the 0 to cg ram font to the third position so you can also make your custom characters about eight characters can be stored here so they have mentioned only eight characters can be stored in the cg ram here you can see only eight characters is available so up to eight arrays can be generated and the eight arrays can be stored inside your cg ram and you can display it or use it whenever you want so you can also generate let me show you another anything so you can also generate like this like a lock symbol like a open lock you can copy this value and you can store it here and if you call that so the second CGRAM character if you mention 0 1 2 3 that's it's enough for calling a CGRAM character so let me run this code you can see our symbol that we generated with the help of this website so the x values are copied here so that's the values that are stored in the cg ram are copied to the dd ram and displayed here so this is the function behind the custom character generation and the display of that custom character you can only use eight custom characters and you can use whenever you want so that's it about this video so see you in the next video thank you